All right, hello everybody. My name is Barry B, a bear cat stranded in space, and welcome back to Read Only Memories, or 2064 Read Only Memories. We're gonna continue where we left off, and I know what I. S <laughs> uh, I know the last time we where we left off, I. The we were left <laughs> definitely left me feeling feeling a lot of things, and well, just the show how well the writing in this game has me hooked, so let's continue. Alright, if I remember correctly, we are heading out... Yes, over into Market Street to go to the th gene therapy clinic or whatever. Oh, sorry. Well, there are the protesters. Let's see what trouble we can get ourselves in. To admit that I still find the vandalism of Hayden's apartment puzzling. The protests themselves have been entirely peaceful so far. And the human revolution, regardless of the flimsy philosophical ground they stand on, are not a group known for projecting their ideology through unlawful means. The more I research them, the more I have to admit to the statistical conclusion that we're either dealing with a deceptive covert operation scenario, or less likely, a radical splinter group. Why not both? Unless I'm sounding a little weird because when I just woke up, even though it's like 11 p.m., <laughs> I had a quick two hour nap because I had a little, I had some drinks. Uh, but let's not think about that. <laughs> anyway. Doubt it will hurt to ask around. Brian Mulberry is there in the center. Yep, time to talk to him. Fairlight said he was the one to talk to, and my mesh searches confirm that he is the leader of the local chapter of the Human Revolution organization. He's a bit player on the national scene, but he seems charismatic and camera conscious from the video clips I've reviewed. Perhaps we could use that to our advantage? Mm hmm. All right, let's see. They're holding a sign. One half of it says, stay pure. Another one of the human revolution protesters. <laughs> I'm sorry, look at that. <laughs> An animated older man leads the group of protesters. All right. Well, view. There's a police room. It's Unit NS NS FPD twenty. Just here to keep the peace. I see. They seem passionate and diligent, despite how long they've been out here. Well, let's talk to him. Hello there. Would you like to hear about the dangers of our country's unchecked use of genetic modification? I wasn't expecting that voice. And why does he sound familiar? I'm trying to think. Uh, I don't know. I, uh, he sounds familiar. I have pamphlets. Here, take one. He sounds like. He sounds like somebody who sounds like one of the narrators to the channel called Space Duck, but uh, I do not remember. <laughs> Speaking of which, that reminds me. I probably have to look back on some of the recordings because as I'm recording these I'm doing them in like big chunks because I'm busy doing stuff at university so I might have I might have like said like oh I'll put the link to this thing or that thing or whatever information if I have I, I have to go back and check check those past recordings and make sure that when I do upload them the there those things are in the description if not yeah, you know, yay! But it just means I have to really pour over through all my content. That's the problem with uh, doing all this. But hey, it's a learning experience, and plus, I like doing this. Brochure added. Yannick Fairlight said to introduce myself. Uh, I have one of his cards here. I'm writing a story on the protests. Can we speak on the record? Shit. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, yes, Yannick called and 
said something about an investigation into an apartment break-in? Because I'm not really here for the story. I'm here to try to help find Hayden. He didn't elaborate, and I'm not sure how I might be able to assist with this. But if Yannick is involved, I'll do whatever I can. How can I help? We found human revolution graffiti spray painted all over the apartment, and some things were stolen. I was hoping you might be able to point us in the direction of whoever did it. Ah, well, the human revolution certainly does not condone such actions at all. We're a peaceful organization, and threatening people is not going to earn us hearts and minds. But... Mm? Off the record, some of our younger members can be a bit overzealous, as any hot-headed teenager tends to be. I'll look into this matter personally, and if I discover that any of our younger members were involved, they'll be turned into the proper authorities. Would they, though? Would they? I'll also let Yannick know anything I find out. Is there something else I can help you with? Can I ask some questions about the human revolution? Yeah, why not? What questions can I answer for you? What are the ultimate goals? We hope to educate the public about the dangers of rapid technological advancements. We want to warn the country away from thoughtlessly accepting every scientific discovery we make before it's too late. We used to say that splitting the atom would surely bring about the end of humankind. But now we're changing the very things that make us human. Our biology, with nothing to ensure our safety. The revolution we're after is humanity as a whole making the decision to remain as we were created and return to how we lived before genetic science put us on the wrong course. Understandable, but at the same time, why do I feel like there's like a thin line or a gray line of eugenics there? Because there is, and uh, maybe, I don't know, not too sure. What is it? It's the meme. Uh, what's it called? Somehow I feel like that doesn't sound right. <laughs> or something like that. This world is Icarus, flying too close to the sun. It's only a matter of time before our arrogance becomes our demise. Here's the thing though, definitely, especially nowadays, um, technology is outpacing us and we have basically neither the discipline nor the literacy to count, to keep up with the amount of technology that we've like had made advancements in. Oh, what was it called? I think it's, somebody phrased it as technological maturity. But as it to be said, it's like, oh, we're going to remain pure and stay human. Well, let's be real. The ver <laughs> Humans have always been changing, no matter what. And changes will always be happening because, well, our environments will be changing. Just because we can doesn't mean we should. And he's now quoting freaking Malcolm from Jurassic Park. I protest at this clinic. Genetic modification is one of the most dangerous sciences we've ever fooled around with. Okay. It's playing God on the highest order and threatens to unseat what humanity is altogether. I think it's a little too late to say that ever since we decided to Ever since societies have existed, <laughs> somebody's inadvertently always played God in some way or manner, so. Now I think about it, it's like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Cybernetics is a dangerous path as well, selling off pieces of ourselves bit by bit for mechanical strength and resilience. But at least a brain controlled android is still a human brain, even if in a metal box. There is a reason Congress enacted laws prohibiting highly modified hybrids from breeding. Now that is... Hmm. Now, I do not fault the individuals who come here for treatment, many of whom are disabled and deathly ill. If you ask me, 
genus isn't the kind of therapy they all need. However, we must take a stand against the medical research industry that would have us cast aside our humanity for their miracles. And how do you plan on enacting social change, the social change you want? At our core, we are a peaceful movement and seek only to convince people to vote according to the truths we reveal to them. Bunch of red flag verbology in there, but okay. The human revolution has faith that American democracy will win out in the end. Well, I want to smack you. to us to make sure that people are informed about the daunting and confusing technologies they put their senseless faith into every day. Yes and no. On a personal level, we would like to exhort every individual to try and live more simply and reject any gadget or medicine that would make us less than we are. <laughs> what do you call it? Reject humanity, become monkey? But wouldn't that mean we're... Never mind, I don't know. Honestly, I don't even know where I'm going with this. I'm just, I'm just like, alright. I'm. My responses are just based on my gut feelings. It doesn't mean that's the truth. Just more like, alright, sure. Jesus, fuck. Is there something else I can help you with? Is there? No, thank you for your time. Of course. If you have any other questions, feel free to come back. I always have time for the press. <laughs> Fuck right off. You clearly missed doing real journalism. I'm impressed. Do I look like I missed it? Shit. I personally don't. I think you're starting to get back into the hard boiled investigative journalist thing. Ugh. Can I go back to writing tech reviews? get lucky enough to turn up a new lead even if this one didn't pan out like we'd hoped what do you think about what he said I think he was considerably less deluded than my searches on the mesh net had led me to believe or seems like it I might have he was telling the truth oh well he didn't appear to be lying but I'm not equipped with interrogation sensors. Oh. You have more experience with this than I do. Do you think he was telling the truth? Half truths. I don't think he was telling us everything. Hmm. I'll continue observing you and try to discern how to read people as we question them. A useful skill I find myself sorely lacking in. I just have a gut Lead feeling. On. Don't forget, we're still here to actually break up these protests. Let's see if we can't figure out a solution together. Yep, trying to figure out what. Make sure to look around and think carefully. I'm sure we'll find something. Yep, we will. What are you? Another ROM. Interesting. A RSU climate control ROM model 6703, if I am not mistaken. Hmm. I might get them to move. Apparently, it is owned by the Hassi Bar, based on this identification marker. Wait, why is a weather control climate <laughs> weather control? So, what, uh, why is it owned by Hassi? Hassi. That's the only thing I remember. Uh, let's talk to weather room. Let's not. Two's company. Three's a cloud. Ah, uh, God, really, really turning. Kind of ROM requires an RFID key to access it. It appears to be owned by the nearby Hassi Bar. Hey then, let's go to the Hassi Bar. This is so out of season right now, though. It's, it's, it's Christmas duck game. This is the most picturesque Christmas tree imaginable. Its branches are perfectly spaced. Every decoration is placed meticulously. Side window is mostly empty, besides of all those posters. Okay. VR drama. Another VR poster, a business drama called Tomorrow's Tears. 
Duck Game began a traditional video as a traditional video game, but has recently become a popular VR sport. All the kids are quacking about it. VR drama poster. Wait, that looks like Ren Ice Circle. Um, it looks like the girl from Ren, Ren Ice Circle. If I'm pronouncing that correctly, I don't know. I might still be drunk. Okay. Uh, it, drink responsibly, kids. Anyways, um, it's a poster from Magical Commander Yukino. A magical girl drama. VR drama. Interesting. What that? Hot bar menu. If you want a Hassie, you have to pay the Hassie ROM. I see. Let's see. The counter is so clean it shines. It almost looks like it's emitting its own light. Uh. Hello! She seems bored since the ROM handles all this ordering. There's not much to do for her right now. For her to do. Um, you know what? Let's talk to her. Aww, that is the most adorable little ROM! What kind of model is it? Where did you get it? You seem it's nice. So moe. Oh god. Uh, they're a custom model. Oh wow. You don't see a whole lot of those around. Must have taken ages to get that case looking that good. With the home printer too. Mm-hmm. I'm impressed. Seem nice. Uh, anyway, what cool. can I get you? Fun. A drink and maybe some information. A drink I can do. And I guess I have some time to talk. The protesters outside the clinic are driving off a lot of my regular customers. Bet. Filling up my bathroom too, jerks. Hey, they gotta pay. <laughs> Not really. So, what do you want to know? Don't tell me about yourself. Oh, I never introduced myself, did I? I'm Ramona. Hello, Ramona. I guess there isn't much to tell. I like her bubbly personality. I went to college, got a degree, took out a loan, and bought this place. Not to mention, kind of cute. Those now Moe's I spend a bit my days hard. trying to find enough time and money to sustain my VR drama addiction. Sounds like somebody I know. My priorities are justice, cute stuff, and magical girls, in that order. I can see. <laughs> what else? I pretty much don't leave the store. Oh. And some please about the human revolution. Look, they've got the right to protest, but I don't have to like it. Once they're done with the hybrids, I know they'll be coming for me next. Hmm? So I'll be voting appropriately. Well said, sister. <laughs> To unclog one more toilet because I'm an entitled bigoted jerk face, I will lose my goddamn mind. Why would they come after you? Oh, you can't tell. I've got a cybernetic arm and leg, thanks to an auto cap crash when I was a kid. I also got neural links for VR interfacing. If it was up to those dinosaurs, I'd be stuck in a wheelchair right now. Or worse, depending on how far back they want to push our medical technology. Agreed. It's already illegal for me to have a rocket powered fist. What more do they want? <laughs> we all need rocket powered fists, girl. <laughs> you called Turing Moy? Sorry. Attack you speak. I just mean he's really cute and lovable. And you kind of want to hug him forever, you know? Understand that? A lot of otaku come around here, probably because I own the place. I'm used to being able to shoot my mouth off and not explain all the jargon. Wait, am I am, am I this much of an uncultured schwein? No kidding. But yeah, I guess I guess this version of me is like stupid or not aware of this stuff. All right, otaku as in Japanese cartoon. How dense are you? Yeah, I know it's a bit out of fashion, but I'm a history buff. Man, imagine that being a thing, where it's really going like, man, old-fashioned, 
I'm a history buff, and it's like you're talking about freaking just otaku culture in general. I mean, American otaku stuff. Granted, we're already hitting toward that, but it's still just like just imagining it. Like, hey man, were you a hippie? It's like asking somebody, like, hey, were you a hippie back in the 70s or 60s? It's like, yeah, it was. It's like going, doing that, and like, hey, were you an otaku back then? Yeah, dude. <laughs> the, t the 2010s were nuts. Or, like, the 90s were nuts. If you weren't, you, if you were, the, if you were there, you wouldn't remember, or some stuff like that. I don't know. I'm, I'm ranting and going, uh, going insane again. Anyway. The past really gives context to stories of the present. You know what I mean? Makes sense, yeah. Things that, you know, wait, yeah. Things that have happened in the past inform what happens in the present, and it's always fun to see the connections between the two and the stories they weave. And that is the text on the back of the cereal box, guys. Anyway. I've been to Tokyo twice already. Whoa, look at that flex. Way more than I have. The old otaku resist the new culture of the Saishi in the same way their parents refuse to give up cassette tapes. Okay, now I'm feeling fucking dated because I, I did not pick up on that last one. Saishi. I have to look that one up. Or they're just gonna tell me. Okay, it's original to this. The Saiba Shibito. <laughs> okay. In the early 21st century, Japan had an epidemic of chronic shut ins, and the rise of direct link virtual reality only made that worse. Wait, hmm, this sounds very familiar. Suddenly, people weren't just refusing to leave their rooms, they were refusing to leave their heads. But as the technology got better, the Saishi were the first to figure out how to use their own brains to sculpt cyberspace. I don't want Kurito shaping like cyberspace. Straight lines, but the human brain is capable of so much more. It's called imagination, guys. The best virtual landscapes, the most real VR dramas and games are created by the Saishi. Now, even if an earthquake or a meteor or whatever leveled Japan, they still have Neo Tokyo built on the VR net. But enough babbling. That's crazy. If you're interested, I'm sure you could find more out on the mesh or use an induction helmet to visit Neo Tokyo yourself. Excuse me. It's a trip, especially for newbies. Sounds like it. Is that climate control ROM your upside yours? It does a good job, huh? Yeah, that's mine. Well, technically, it's property of Hassie Holdings. We spent some mints on it, but the rest of the block helps pitch in for maintenance costs since I usually set it to patrol the whole area. Hmm. You should check it out when we do Christmas in July. <laughs> it's it August. Cover the whole street in snow, as long as it's cloudy enough to keep the sun off. Sort of like today. Mmm, good idea. Would you mind if I take it for a spin? Sorry, but that thing cost me way too many credits to let just anyone poke at it. I would need to see some serious credentials before I let you mess with it. Shit. You know. Enough to make sure you can afford to replace it if you break it. Understandable. Otherwise, no touching. I think that's everything. Okay. Enjoy your drink and let me know if you need anything else. Thank you, Ramona. She was sweet. And now I gotta figure this shit out. My ID card. Look at my own ID card. It well, plus the ID with your name, picture, and stats. Uh-huh. Doesn't tell me what my stats are. What's this? Oh, this is the... It's on the front. Hmm. How do I proceed with this? I don't know. 
I wish there was like a way to ask Turing for some advice. Everyone loves Hassie. So classy Hassie he's got there. Hmm. Plant. The rumors that the plants here are actually given Hassie, not water. Jesus. Hmm. Let me save real quick. Ah, there you go. Got stuck there for a second. Saves. Let's save. Yes, proceed. Uh, let's do seven because I don't remember if this was a. That's where I was last time or not. Huh. Oh! Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, cool. Hmm. Alright, I think we'll stop there for today because I need to figure this out what to, what to do next. And I will see you later, my fellow space jockeys. Bye bye, and take care.